To kick off the relaunch of our YouTube channel, we're really excited to introduce our fall party series. We love fall. Love fall. Yeah. I love everything about fall. What do you like about fall? I love getting to pull out the sweaters, big cozy sweaters, and I've got one that's like a big blanket. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. Getting cozy. I love my boots and my layers. Boots galore. Love layers, yeah, I love layers too. Yeah. Love. Take it on, take it off, you know, and look cute all the, the whole time. Of course. Well, we planned a beautifully casual fall party for our family, and we're going to show you how we pull the whole thing off on a tight budget without skimping our vision. We're going to show you how we made the beautiful layered tablecloth for under $100. We made a charger that we're going to put on the table, along the table, and that was a really, really cool project too. Super simple. Really and easy. Yeah. And it looks great. Mm -hmm. uh, Kimberly and I are also going to be doing a chili cook-off. Which is, yes. I'm really excited about that. We covered all bases. Got Vegan, two chilies. Meat. Yeah. Everyone's going to be happy. Everyone wins. Kimberly is going to show us how we made our beautiful centerpiece. Painting pumpkins in colors you might not expect for a fall party. Really fabulous. Yeah, it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up on all our new content. We appreciate the love. And we love your comments. Please keep them coming. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Hey everybody, as you know, we are in preparation for having our fall party. It's all about fall right now, of course, and what is fall without pumpkins, right? We wanted to go with a more modern color scheme and go with more modern textures to present our fall tablescape for our party. We went with a baby blue, a gold, a copper, a navy blue, black, and ivory. To clean the pumpkins, fill a five gallon bucket with water and pour approximately two tablespoons of bleach in it. Use some dry paper towels to wipe the pumpkins down to clean any miscellaneous debris or bacteria that may cause the pumpkins to decay later on. Place the pumpkins on dry paper towels once the pumpkins were dry, I sprayed a thin clear coat of sealer all around the pumpkins. And we did this to make sure that the pumpkins had a really nice smooth canvas for the paint. We're gonna start with navy blue. I've already poured a little navy blue acrylic paint. We used the sponge brushes as they adhered, they helped the paint adhere to the pumpkin a lot better. Now, one thing I will suggest, and this is a quick tip, we learned it the hard way. Do not do paint like long strokes because it leaves streaks in the paint. We used the sponge rollers and we literally dabbed it. Okay. See, that's covering pretty good. Don't worry about getting the bottom in there really perfect because they're gonna sit on its bottom anyway. One thing I will suggest is just leave a little ring around the stem, stay away from the stem if you can, and then we'll take a little small brush, a detail brush, and go in there with the blue paint and fill that area around the stem in. Okay, I think that'll just about do it. I'm gonna take my detail brush, start around the base of the stem, and then I work my way down and feather it into the other paint. If you get paint on your stem, that's no big deal. That is no big deal at all. It is okay. Because it took me a few pumpkins to get this good. It's pretty. Lovely. And if you look around it and you see where you see any orange bleeding through, that's okay. Just take that sponge in there, dab it, do the dab on it, and it'll be just, just fine. 